Hey guys, on occasion I find myself browsing Amazon for new lenses for the Sony E-mount. Last week I found this lens, which is a newer, newer uh, 32mm f1.6. I uh, saw the pictures and I decided, let's check this thing out. So let's see how it comes packaged. All right, so here is the box that this lens comes in. It is very small. I mean, you can see my hand can cover the whole thing. Just as newer on the front, nothing on the sides. Uh, very simple. So let's open this thing up. Inside you get, uh, looks like a uh, user guide, instruction guide here. You get a faux leather pouch. And inside, you get a nice and cheap uh, front lens cap here. And then same thing around the back. This lens is very compact. So you can see, I would describe this as a pancake lens, smaller than the 16 to 50 kit lens collapsed. Uh, around the front, front lens element is very compact. It does say newer, 49 millimeter filter thread. Um, APS-C and then 32 millimeter f1.6 around the back metal mount no electronic connections because this is manual only and then around the side very simple you have aperture at the bottom it is declicked there's a nice bit of tension there so that you will not knock it accidentally it goes from f22 all the way to f1.6 and right in front of that is the focus ring that is nicely damped. It's actually pretty stiff for a focus ring, not loose by any means. Um, and you can see that the barrel does extend a slight bit as you focus from one end to the next. Now, as far as turning, you get about 180 degree rotation to focus. So there we are, closed and wide open. So excited to put this thing on the camera and see what sort of images we get with it. So let's do that. And here it is mounted on my A6000. As you can see, very compact pancake lens. It is a little bit smaller than the kit lens collapsed, I think. Um, you can see the front, nice green and purple reflection from that piece of glass in the front. Um, as you focus, it does extend a little bit, but it is still nice and compact. Definitely an easy lens to take with you if you're traveling. So let's take a look at some sample photos and videos using this lens on my A6000. So overall, I really enjoyed using this lens. I don't know if you guys noticed in that first video clip that I posted, that was not autofocus. That was me manually focusing on a conversation that was had with a bunch of people. And that is how easy this thing is to focus. I was able to grab focus with focus peaking um, and go from one person to another person to another person relatively seamlessly and it almost looks like I am using autofocus. This lens is completely different compared to the Zonelai lens that I reviewed last week when it comes to focus feel. This is very smooth, very easy, no grittiness, no graininess, really no complaints whatsoever. There is a perfect amount of adjustment, it is nice and smooth, and because this is a 32 millimeter lens, 
it's a little bit easier to focus with this thing than something that's more of a portrait lens. Now there are a couple of things that I do wanna talk about with this lens. The first thing is, is I noticed when you're using the aperture control, the aperture blades are not exactly lined up perfectly evenly, but overall that really isn't much of an issue. I didn't notice the misaligned aperture blades affect any of my photos. Now speaking of the photos, colors were great, um, nothing too crazy to mention or talk about. The bouquet in the background was nice. There was a little bit of an outline when it comes to bouquet balls. They weren't as creamy as you get with other lenses. Um, certainly nowhere near as creamy as what you get with something like the Zeiss 55 that I recently reviewed, but still very adequate, especially again because this is such a budget lens. I think what impressed me most about this lens is how nice and sharp it is in the center of the frame, even wide open at f1.6. So nice, in fact, that I decided to compare it side by side to the Sony 35mm, which is one of my favorite lenses of all time. So here are a couple side by side photos. The first one is at f8 on both lenses. And as you can see in the center, it's not bad. However, as you get into the corners, the Sony 35 still remains relatively sharp, whereas this newer lens really does begin to look quite soft. Interestingly, when I shot wide open at f1.8 and f1.6 on this newer lens, in the center, there's almost no difference at all. However, as you move to the edges and to the side of the frame, you can see that the bouquet is a lot more smooth and creamier on the Sony 35. And then as you move further and further away from the center of the image into the corners, you notice that the Sony 35 is definitely the sharper lens out of the two. Now, if you were just looking at these two images side by side and not zooming in, most people would not really be able to tell much of a difference. Now, this lens does have some flaring issues. You probably noticed that in the sample photos in the video. There is a noticeable large green spot if you're shooting up at the sun, but for most situations, you are not going to be doing that, so you won't notice it. I would say you could use a lens hood, but one did not come with this lens. So that's unfortunate. So overall, it is a surprisingly decent lens. I expected it to be far, far worse for whatever reason, um, but this is certainly a lens that I could recommend and I would recommend if you are on a budget, if you're looking for a um, fast manual prime, maybe as a first lens that you wanna pick up for around 50 or $60, if you just have the Sony a6000 in the kit lens, and you want to see what a prime lens does, if you wanna shoot a little bit of low light photography, um, something where you can learn about you know, aperture and focus and, and all of that fun stuff, this is an excellent buy, an excellent pickup. So as always, I'll post a link down below to Amazon if you guys are interested in checking out more specs about this thing or purchasing it. If you do buy through those links, that does help support the channel, specifically our diaper fund. Today is October 25th and it's our baby's due date. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all of the likes, comments, and support. Stay tuned for more. I have a lot of other fun things that I will be reviewing in the near future. I have a very cool gimbal that I'm excited to check out next. Now, for those of you who have stayed till the end, I wanted to go ahead and give away this lens. So I'm going to pick a comment at random down below this video um, seven days from today. So today's the 25th. It'll be like November 1st or 2nd, whatever the math is on that. Um, so leave a comment down below, leave a like on this video, and then check back in a week and see if you won this thing. I'll obviously ask for your address so I can mail this thing out to you. Um, it's a small box, so it shouldn't be too terrible. Um, anyway, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much. Stay tuned for more. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.